Hello YouTube, how's everyone doing? It's Professional here. Welcome back to my playthrough, The Saboteur. I just love this game, um, playing this game so much for you guys. I'm sorry I wasn't able to get a part out yesterday. I'm going to try to get one out every day. I know people really want to watch me play this game. If you do enjoy this series, please do drop a like on it. It does help out a lot. Where did you come from? I followed you here. I am grateful for that. When I saw the damage caused by the bombing, it was terrible. I thought everyone had been killed. What happened? I stood up when I should have ducked. Maybe you should stick to writing books. How bad is it? The wound is filthy. He will need antibiotics. I'll find a chemist. Antibiotic supplies are tightly controlled by the German military. Then I'll go knock up the crowds. There's a better way. You see that man standing over there? The one grinning like a cat with a cream-flavored arsehole? He's called Santos. I've seen him at the Bell. He's a black marketeer. He can get what we need. I'll go have a chat with him. You're the one called Santos. Who's asking? The one who'd stop these crowds from decorating that wall with your brains. Now you're gonna do me a favor. Claro que si. What can I do for you, my friend? Antibiotics. The heavy stuff. I see. I can get you what you want, but it won't come cheap. The black market is a barter system. You'll need something to trade for the medicine. Like what? Contraband. What else? I sold a rare bottle of champagne to a German officer this morning. Bring the bottle back to me. It's worth a small fortune. To the right people. So, um, Santos is from Spain. Um, and Spain, um, at this time period was actually a fascist country as well. And Spain is actually the last fascist country, um, uh, that existed. I don't think there was any more after Spain, but Spain, uh, fascist dictatorship actually ended in the 1970s. Um, when, uh, General Francisco Franco died, and then the country transitioned to democracy. But Spain was technically allied with Germany. Um, uh, basically there was a civil war that was in Spain in the 1930s, and the, um, the Soviets had supported communist factions in the, um, civil war. There was the Republicans, who wanted to preserve the democracy in Spain. There was the, um, uh, the Communists, there was the Fascists, and then there was the Anarchists. So there's like a massive war between all the factions. And um, what happened was the Fascists ended up winning the Civil War. And so Frank, when Franco came to power, he supported um, uh, Hitler, but Spain didn't, um, uh, didn't join the Axis militarily, even though it supported the Axis economically. That's why Spain didn't get invaded. Now, Sounds like that tosser's throwing a party. Better grab the bottle before he uncorks it. Okay, we gotta get in there, okay. Gestapo officers are trained to detect enemy agents disguised as Nazi soldiers. If Sean gets too close to one of these secret policemen, he'll be spotted immediately. Okay, let's get up here. Climbing is really good in this game, and... So, a, a guy like Santos is, um, not a good guy at all. Um, now Santos is a... A black marketeer who's directly trying to profit um, uh, from World War II. So he's not helping the resistance out of the goodness of his heart. He's just doing it to make money. Okay, let's see here. Okay, ah. Okay, here we go. I'm playing on the hardest difficulty, so it's, it's really easy to die. Okay. Yeah, those grenades definitely help. Okay, let's get this champagne bottle. Man, that's a massive bottle. 
When running is not a good option, use hiding spots. These appear on the mini-map as Sean cannot use one if a Nazi can see him. I'll need to shake these crowds before I head back to Santos. One of the hiding spots in this game is actually really funny, which, um, uh, I'll show you guys that in the later part. Where were we? Okay, return the champagne to Santos. Still gotta get used to the climbing in this game. It is really good, um, for the time. Okay, I got it. I got the hang of it now. And, um... You can actually climb to the top of the Eiffel Tower in this game. Um, there's- there's ways to, um... There are ways to, uh, uh to get to the Eiffel Tower through, like, an elevator. But you can also just manually actually climb up there, so you can actually do that in this game. And there's actually a- I remember, because this, this game is the first Platinum Trophy that I had ever gotten. There's actually a trophy to jump off of the Eiffel Tower and survive, and you're wondering how the hell would you do that? There's a pond, and you have to time it really well. If you jump in the pond, you'll actually survive, which is really ridiculous, but uh, it, it, it is a trophy. Okay, let's talk to Santos here. Ah, muy bien. 1922. El primero. Lucky for us that German Major didn't have a chance to open it, eh? You got the stuff? I have what you requested right here. They say Santos is like the poster service. Always reliable. Uh-huh. Cheers. Uh, oh, oh, momento, Irishman. You are out of a job, no? I might have worked for a man with your... talents. Sorry. I'm on holiday. Then I might have something else that would interest you. When you have finished here, come find me. My place is right across the street from the bed. Okay, let's get um, uh, the meds to Luke. I remember, Luke got shot in the um, earlier part. And so, th this game got the symbol right, that the double cross, that's actually the symbol of the French Resistance. So, they, uh, the game did get that historically right. I brought the medicine. Oh, good. The wound has become infected. I will stay till he's back on his feet. You can't stay here. Come on, I'll take you back to the bed. No, you will not. Veronique, I'm just looking out for you, that's all. The way you looked after Jules. <laughs> that will not be necessary. Mission complete. So the story in this game gets really good. Um, uh, it, does get, it, it does get really good later on. Okay, let's go talk to Santos, then. What was it you wanted to talk to me about? I can see that you are a busy man, Irishman. I can provide you with the tools you need to conduct your personal business. Yeah? Like what? Anything you need. Guns, ammunition, explosives. I supply these items to men like yourself, discreetly and at a very reasonable price. <laughs> right. Reasonable I price. You take a personal check. <laughs> I'm afraid not. Then how do you expect me to pay for these wares of yours? Why contraband, of course. German military supplies are best. There are Nazi installations all over the city. You will need heavy firepower to destroy them. Explosives, perhaps. My dealers offer you credit for any equipment you can salvage. German officers are another source of contraband. Of course, you'll have to kill them first. You can trade the contraband to my dealers for weapons and ammunition, even vehicles. I have people stationed all over the city 24 hours a day. Let me guess, I'll need to pay a fee to join this little club of yours. Well, yes, just a small donation to cover my expenses. Yeah, like I said, Consider it an investment in he's all just about himself, all about Pierre profiting. He will provide you with a few things to get you started, free of charge, of course. Also, somebody like Santos doesn't want to see the Nazis defeated too quickly. He wants the conflict to go on for as long as possible because he wants to make as much money from it. Like I said, he's a, this is not a good guy at all. People like this existed during World War II. 
Okay, let's see here. Black market. Um, contraband can be traded in the black market for weapons, ammo, and upgrades. Over time, new weapons and upgrades will become available in the black market. Okay. Dynamite free. Okay. Let's see here. Uh, nothing. Nothing. Uh. Okay. Sabotage the tower. Okay. Okay, so there's a lot of destruction in this game. I would compare it to, like, a game like Just Cause. The Nazis have, like, a lot of stuff around this map that you can blow up and destroy. Oh, there we go. 47 towers in the game to destroy. So, like I said, the, the map is just massive. Kill the Nazi general. Okay. I just gotta get I gotta get used to this again because I, I I when I was a kid I was I was really good at this game like really good but I'm I gotta get used to this again blow up this tower next and we take out the Nazi general Nazi sniper nest destroyed Destroy the armored car. Okay, wrong button. I, I, like I said, I gotta get used to this again. Okay. I'm not good with tanks, guys. Um, I know World War II guns really well, but I don't know tanks that well. So, anybody knows what tank that is, let me know in the comments down below. Okay, now we have to escape. Alarm 2, um, that's the medium alarm. Alarm 4 is the, uh, the, um, the, the worst one that you can get. And when you get Alarm 4, the SS and, like, the elite, um, you know, Nazi units will go after you. About bloody time. Well, that was easy. Okay, return to Santos. So you see how the area, like, this area starts to get colored again? The the areas that are black and white, again, are the areas that are the most oppressed. And so when you do something to really hurt the Nazis, the color actually comes back to the world. Very, very interesting feature. There's it people fighting for you out there. captures that dark and, like, depressing mood of World War II really well. <laughs> Muy bien, Irishman. I think this is the beginning of a very profitable friendship. You are now free to trade with any black market dealer in this city. Nazi um free play targets. Contraband can be earned by destroying Nazi targets in occupied Paris, including guard towers, searchlights, AA guns, fuel stations, radar antenna, propaganda speakers, Nazi generals. And also this right here. There's random events in the world. So you see like people are about to be lined up to be shot. So there's land random events that you can actually where you can actually um uh save people on the street where people are being abused. Explosives are necessary to take down most targets. Sean is paid automatically when the target is destroyed. Okay. Contraband can be used to purchase weapons, ammo, and upgrades from the black market dealers. Look for the um, weapons uh, icon on your map. This symbol marks the location of a black market dealer. Okay, let's see. Okay, mission complete. Okay, and our perks here. Um, okay. Improve planting speed. Destroy 10 Nazi towers. Carry additional explosive. Okay. Uh... You gotta get 10 stealth kills from behind. Okay, let's see. Talk to him. Let's see. Does the black market have anything here now? Um, silence pistol. 
Okay, we need 500 contraband for that. MP44, hmm. French gun, hunting rifle. Um. Take this. Buy it. Okay. And these are like, you know, upgrades that you have. Um. Okay, we're gonna get these, um. These, these, um. These will show us the locations. Okay, so, let me show you the map now here. Okay, so... Ah. Yeah, the, the map's a bit glitchy here. Um, but, um, what I was gonna... You see these, like, white dots? These are all, like, Nazi targets that are actually on the map. And so you blow them up, and, you know, you get contraband for it. So, like, right there, for instance, you know, we got a, a, a propaganda speaker. Uh, I think that you could just destroy that with just, um, yeah, pretty sure that you can just destroy that with, uh, just shooting it. There we go, propaganda speaker destroyed. Climb, climb, climb. Let's see, what do we got here? Oh, this? What is this? This is a, um... I'm trying to remember what this was specifically here. Um... Oh, this, this might just be, like, you know, a thing that, like, just shows you around the map, like, kind of, like, points of view, that's what it might be. Oh, scenic spot, yeah, that's what it is. Um. And then up here, there's something else also up here. It's... Kick. Okay. Now we're in business. Okay, so here we go. Bolt action rifle. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's just the car 98 in the game. Um. Oh yeah, this is real. This is really weak. This is not a. This is not a powerful gun at all. Okay, this is the car ninety eight. Okay. I typically like bolt action rifles a lot. Okay, destroy. I'm gonna destroy a few more of this stuff just to show you guys this. Um, okay, here we go. Take that out. There we go. Sniper nest destroyed. Perfect. I think that's a jump you gotta hit there, too. Uh, let me- let's see about losing- losing the wanted level here first. I'll show you guys something else, too. Ah, oh, come on. There we go. Okay, so here's one one of the things I wanted to show you guys. Okay. Okay, here we go. Like destroyed, so you know, we got stuff like this, for instance, like these big guns that you can, like, 
these AA guns that you can take over and then you can use the, just, these to just blow up so much stuff. Oh, it's out of range, is it? Um, range. That would, that would normally let you hit it. And like the blimp, you guys probably wanted, yeah, see? You guys probably wanted me to shoot that down too, right? <laughs> I can't hit the tower, that is tower from here. Okay, let's get out of here and, um, before we do, set the fuse on that. Okay, so this is the thing that I wanted to show you guys, um, here. Let's see about getting a disguise here first. You can be a pretty creative in this game. Okay. Oh, we unlocked a new perk. Okay. Okay. Take the gun too. Use that disguise. At least I didn't get drafted. About to go boom. Nice. Maybe later, yes. See what the black uh, marketeer has here. Bonjour. Interest you um, in some personal protection. Take that. Silenced pistol. Okay, we'll buy it. Harry, um... Uh... Okay. Oh, ammo, okay. Okay, there we go. And, um... I don't recommend to buy weapons from the Black Market here. Unless it's like unique weapons. You save up your contraband because a lot of the weapons you can just take off of the dead Nazis. Uh, hey, okay, see here. What is it now, Santos? You need some caviar to go with that champagne? <laughs> I have caviar coming out of my ears. Nobody wants that shit anymore. What good are fish eggs when a man's ribs are showing like a half starved dog? Booze, cigarettes, morphine. That's where the money is. Thank the saints you're here to profit from the misery of others. Yes, I agree. We can't all live like peasants. Just because there is a war on, no? Take my good friend General Lutz, for example. He wouldn't be caught dead driving around Paris in some peasant's car. Last week I offered to sell him an Italian limousine. And do you know what he said? I don't know. Bugger off? <laughs> that's right. He said he had already bought a limo from one of my competitors. Oh, that's heartbreaking. Truly. But not as sad as the look on General Lutz's face when he finds out that his prized car has been stolen! <laughs> ah, stolen by a dastardly Irishman, I'll wager. Exactly! And won't the General be delighted when you sell him his own car back at twice the original price? You have a devious mind, Irishman. It is almost as if you have done this before. Uh-huh. So what's in it for me? 
You are a man who likes cars, no? Well, you could say I'm in the used car business. You do this for me, and your money will be good at any of my special garages throughout the city. Okay, then. That's a deal. Okay, fine, General Lutz's car. Must be around here somewhere. There's the car. Ooh, she's a rare beauty. Let's see if I can get her back to Santos without ruining those good looks. So the barbed wire represents restricted areas on the map. So now you have to watch out for the German officer because he if he spots you, he'll just take the um uh he'll take the car and run for it. There we go, okay. Yeah, su suppressed pistols, I'm I'm using it the wrong way right now. Should have had a rifle with me, but French gun. Okay, take this. Get the limo now. So yeah, this is like, you know, this is one of my childhood games, and I remember this, you know, Christmas 2009, you know, playing this game. And the unfortunate thing is there's so many people who have missed out on this game, and a lot of you guys never heard of this game before until I started playing it. Take this to Santos's garage. I hear General Lutz is in the market for a new set of wheels. <laughs> you have done this before, haven't you, Irishman? Me? Stealing cars? Oh, don't be ridiculous. I see. Well, just in case you ever need a place to store a car, stop by one of my garages. My customer service professionals can provide you with all kinds of quality services. Oh, yeah. Like what? Body repairs, custom upgrades, vehicle storage, you name it. We will be happy to serve all of your automotive needs. For the right price, of course. Oh, that's grand. I'll see you around. Yeah, so all he cares about is just money, nothing else. Um... Oh, he unlocked a few perks here, too. Nice. Um... Unlock the sucker punch attack. Uh, nice. Um... Hold to select the getaway strike and use to aim at the target. When the target turns green, press RT to execute. Okay. Getaway strike, fugitive. Bunch of different perks in the game. Let's go see Vittori now. But um, Sean's backstory. Sean in this game, he was homeless and he was stealing cars off of the streets. And um, uh, Vittori found him and adopted him. So that's, you know, Sean's backstory. No I wish I could play the handsome. You can leave them with me. I Very wish I could play you, the beautiful. um Merci. You can have them back when you leave. I wish I could play the um the music um in this game because the club actually has some in a lot of interesting music at plays, but the copyright is ridiculous. Sean, I hoped we had found shelter from this storm. It seems fate had other plans. How did you get picked up? I was recognized by an informant. Any idea on who the rat might be? I don't have a name. But I know he is planning to meet with a Nazi officer outside the bell. I'll follow this crowd. He'll lead us right to the snitch. Yes, 
That is one way. You have another idea? I saw the German put the informant's letter in his pocket. If you had that letter and the German officer's uniform, you could find this Judas before he collects his 30 pieces of silver. Where I come from, snitches get paid in lead. <laughs> so the, um, uh, there's an informant had read it out, um, of uh, Vittori. And the Gestapo had kept a whole series of informants on the streets, and so if you were in a Nazi-occupied territory, you had to know who your friends were, and you had to know who you trusted, because anyone could sell you out. Never mind. I don't got the time. Let's get over there, here. The Resistance had to be very careful who they trusted. Owe me ten francs. You should pay me, huh? Ah. The pleasure was all yours. <laughs> Bastard. So, um, uh, when when Vittori actually says you'll find this Judas and he'll collect his thirty pieces of silver, um, that's a reference to the Bible. Um, uh, it's a reference to Christianity mostly. Um, because in Christianity, um, uh, Judas was actually the one who betrayed um uh, Jesus and was paid thirty pieces of silver. And Judas is like a word that's like, you know, typically used against a, re a really bad traitor, you know. Trevor calls Michael Judas in, um, uh, in GTA 5 also. Yeah, but we gotta tail General Clive here. Um, yeah, I know, I know people really don't like tailing missions, but... He doesn't go very far, I think. I think he goes to that elephant over there. I think that's where he ends up going. So he doesn't travel very far. Paranoia, okay. And so Sean's gotta get rid of this informant because if he doesn't, they're just never gonna stop and they're just gonna keep going after Vittori. Fair day's labor for a fair day's pay. But now, for people wondering, why did people inform on their neighbors to the Nazis? Why did no, they do that? The village you got um, here. Different reasons. Um, uh, one reason, in this case, money. The Nazis would pay money, oftentimes reward people who ratted out their friends and family. Uh, and other times, the Nazis would threaten people. They would say they would threaten somebody's family and then tell them to rat out other people. There you are, you rat bastard. Your payment. Merci. Now get out of here. What? No, no, you, you promised me protection. I promised you nothing. That's a lie. They'll kill me. There's your reward, Judas. Don't spend it all at one place. Now, so you can, um... You in this mission, you can you can follow the, the Nazi general, and he will um uh, he'll have the dialogue with the rat, or you can um uh or you can actually dress up as the Nazi general, and then Sean will actually have a unique uh, dialogue on that. Um, but I don't think I don't think there's a way for me to actually do a mission replay in this game, is there? Because I would show you guys that. Uh, no, I don't believe so. But um, but yeah, you can you can dress up as the officer and just confront him. But, um, uh, I guess we'll wrap it up here, guys. Thank you guys for watching. I hope that you guys enjoyed this. If you did, drop a like, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Take care, everyone. Have a wonderful day, guys.